some of the, the fishermen has been coming for a lot of years. They have been saying it's the most fish they've seen for a, three, four years. This beat here is a three rod beat. But I mean, sometimes you'll get maybe five people coming and two of them sharing. So, I mean, that's no problem at all. One mouth is at the very top, but as well, it's too shallow at the moment. That's all my fish is when it's uh, running about three foot to five foot. Then I come down into the suicide. It's fishable at all heights. Then we come down into the water trap. Uh, again, three foot, you fish everything off the bank. Just now you're wading quite halfway out. And it's uh, since the flood, it's improved greatly. And then we go down into the boat. It's the same. Fish as well now. Uh, then we go down to the, the island pool. Then we come down into here now, where we're at the, the garden pool. Ross is fishing there, and uh, there's a good chance of catching a fish anywhere down through this pool. Then the blue chair is opposite the house that would end there. And then we have the bend, the loop, the points and the ripples right at the very bottom. Down the bend, the bend in the loop holds a lot of fish. Um, up, well, the, the boat, the otter trap in the boat holds fish as well. Suicide holds fish. Flies, well, one of my favourites is the, the karate fly. Uh, especially at this, when the water's this height. Uh, but when the water's higher, I mean, the monkey fly, well, your, your cascades and your franken snail does and red francis, anything we've got. Personally, I don't use a dropper, but uh, there are a lot of fishers do. When the water's as low as this, I mean, you're targeting the, the streamy water, usually at the, the, up at the top of the pool or at the tail of the pool. But, I mean, you get some pools here, I mean, it'll fish good all the way through. The, the, the bend down to the, I would say, the, the big stones that's farthest out in the water, in the loop is your best chance at this height. When the, the water's higher, three foot or so, you would be, you fish it all the way right down, right down to the ripples at the bottom. And you've got a good chance down there at that height, anywhere down through the, the pool. You normally meet half past eight, nine o'clock in the morning at Patarts there and then come down the track off the main road, down to the, the, the hut, then, and then we get the rods and everything set up. You can get your car down about three quarter ways down the beat, but after that, the, the track's a bit uh, lumpy. The, well, Storm Frank, it was a massive flood. Um, it's, well, the hut was washed away here, and, uh, Got a, we've got a fine new hut now, and uh, I think it didn't do much damage to the banks, but with the, with the crois coming out, I think it's improved some of the pools for fishing, uh, mainly the otter trap and the boat. All other pools hasn't changed much at all. We had a, the oldest man I had here was 93 last year fishing. So, in fact, he's still fishing, <laughs> which is good. Maybe more young children, encourage them to come into the, the fishing. The amount of fish we've, well, I've seen coming up through here has just been fantastic. It's, uh, it's nice to see so many fish. I mean, sometimes they're not taken, but it's nice to see them.